uh, good. we just had breakfast in the hotel. They had American style. Austin was really excited. I was excited. Had some omelets. And uh, yeah, ready to go to the fair. So it's gonna be fun. Where we have no expectations, but I think it's gonna be like pretty awesome. We've been to Magic twice. Yeah, I've been twice. Um, I don't expect it to be anything like Magic though. I think it's gonna be way better. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be. Well, we know we're gonna meet three of our suppliers currently because we just didn't have the time to disperse to them to visit the factory as well. So we're gonna be just visiting with them. We brought some products from our clients that they. You know they're already in that field, uh, but they're not manufacturing that product. But a lot of our pro dev clients switched over from other product development companies, so we're kind of giving them like more allocation for our product. So excited to to grow the pro dev. And while we're here, we've gotten a good amount of applications um, of, of brands that want to work with us. So we're just going to consistently show this process, and I think people thoroughly enjoy what we're doing here because, like, I feel like a lot of people gatekeep. You know, like they don't, they don't talk about, like they don't the show, yeah, they don't show like the rawness. Yeah. Like we're on our stories just posting everything like mm -hmm. as it comes, like a POV kind of. Of course not vibe. the manufacturers. Yeah, that's the only thing the we don't show, stuff, but, you know, yeah. but like, I think it's fun. A lot of people don't do this and a lot of people are afraid to show it. But for us, yeah, we're gonna show you everything. We also so. have some some samples in our bag to, to see if we can find Morning. some new manufacturers for some of the products we're already creating as this well. Is, this, this is Mr. Wu. The Wu. Mr. Wu Morning. owns a very large seamless factory out in Yiwu. Um, we work with him and Stanley, who's been taking us around. Stanley does all of our performance knitwear, um, kind of like the athleisure side. We've been working with Stanley for four years now, and um, <clears throat> with our other brand that Derek and I co-owned. Uh, motive so we're excited we amazing hospitality and uh, we, we hope to continue to grow with all of our manufacturers and uh, yeah let's go to Canton Fair yeah hey, we fish out here fresh damn that smile Derek took a big old selfie smile wait let me screenshot. So we're here at Canton Fair. I'm so excited. So the first stop we go to is activewear. Majority of our clients are activewear. So honestly, this is fucking insane. We have no expectations. Today, the first day is just kind of exploring, shooting the content with some new vendors. And then maybe second day, if we have enough time, we're gonna visit some of our existing vendors here. We're, we have about four vendors that are here at Canton Fair. Most of ours, most of our vendors are a little bit too big to be here. Like they don't really require it. So they're kind of like, we just visit the factories directly, but some of them are here and we're gonna see some new technology today. Let's go. Outerwear, right? All outerwear? Uh, yeah. Outerwear, Sorry. jackets, outerwear? Yeah, yeah. outerwear. What's your uh, MOQ? Uh, 1,000. 1,000 pieces? Yes. Per color, per style? Yeah. And then turnaround time for production? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jiangxi province. Jiangxi province, okay. Uh, for a jacket like this, for a thousand pieces? Yeah. How much? Uh, Wu Bai. Wu Bai. Uh, one color. One, one color. color. Okay, so 1,000 is two color? Yes. Okay. Okay. So $19 for this jacket. This is beautiful. Very, very yes, pretty. Thank you. Yes. What is the treatment on this? This is a, this is a woven, woven nylon. Yes. What uh, is the no, treatment? No, no. Uh, polyester. Polyester. One hundred percent polyester. So contacts for outerwear jackets. They make rainwear outerwear, which is smart for us to know for all of our clients, to disperse the allocations for other products. Right. You have wovens. You have knitted products, and honestly, just being able to focus like they specifically focus on outerwear to give our clients that specialty niche better prices new technology this is like cotton hand feel polyester jacket which feels phenomenal like i haven't felt a polyester like this before really nice okay so uh active wear normally yeah uh -huh. just so active you, wear. Are, you have your own brand or you are interested to be our agent uh, we make for other brands so we design for like a lot of different brands oh. So yes, yes. Designer yes, company. yes. We are design studio. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. So we work with eight, 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 eight brands right now. Oh, 
Oh, and we okay. designed their entire product line, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, if any sure? Yeah, yeah. Contact. Okay, thank you, yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Three hundred, one color. Can you, uh, where are they, where are they located? Uh, company in Beijing mm -hmm. and the factory in Guangzhou. So something like this for cotton, tencel, spandex, how much is this? How much is this product? You mean? Uh, yeah, how much? How much for one product? How much? Beautiful piece. Really nice. MOQ for fabric, if I custom dye the fabric. What MOQ? Uh, if yards. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, this is a very luxe like feeling product, you know? So 300 MOQ, seven dollars, twenty cents for the embroidery. Really well cut. And then it's patched embroidery, so really nice. Screen print, beautiful cotton, five dollars and twenty cents. Phenomenal price. Which one? Phenomenal. Uh, RMB. RMB. Uh, RMB. So four or five million dollar US for the technology. Wow. Bro, this is a beautiful. Just, it's called a mercerized technology. This is really nice. This is why we. This is why we come here for these types of technology. Very high level, new technology cotton. I like this. Different pattern. Yeah. How do you achieve this? Is this laser? No. What kind of technology is this? Yeah, it is from the fabric. We jacquard. Oh, it's a jacquard. Wow. Okay. So something like this. What is the MOQ? Uh, one thousand. Per color. Okay, one thousand per color. That's a little high. Can okay. you do? Can you do a little bit lower? Maybe like three hundred. Three hundred per color. Yes, three hundred or two hundred per color. It's a bit lower. Yeah. A bit lower. Can you do it or no? No. So you yes. cannot do less than a thousand. Can you do five hundred? Five hundred, but how many? One color. No, only one color. Yes. And one style. Yes, one style. You can no reach you cannot. the fabric MOQ. All right, so. We ran into a few trading companies that kind of pose as factories, but they don't really tell you, right? So how you get, how you can achieve these answers is when you talk to them normally and you're doing basic knitwear, right? So basic knitwear, athleisure or cottons, right? If their MOQ is extremely high, most of the time they're a trading company. So normal factories are pretty willing to negotiate like a lower quantity, maybe like 300 or 200, sometimes even 100. And the prices are like normally when you're talking direct fabric, or direct factory, it's like anywhere from five to seven. This was an 800 MOQ for a Jacquard Polo for 820 at 800 to 1,000 MOQ. That's like really, really high. So um, Mr. Wu, who is our translator, he says they were a trading company. So indeed, it kind of proved our theory correct. Quality? Yeah, she created Amplify, you are the manufacturer. You tell me if this is good. This quality, I think not so good. <laughs> this fabric is not so good. Wait, help me, bro. Got it. Put his belt on it. Put my belt on So, with these manufacturers, you're not really coming to see the fabrics, right? You're kind of coming to see, well, a little bit of both. You're also coming to see the technology and their, what they're capable of in terms of all of these panelings and like all of these holes, the mesh inserts and things like that. So like for Seamless, you can do like a print like this. For instance, like one of our brands, Equivision, if they wanted to make like a seamless top, we would take their, their logo files, their assets, and we'd place it in the seamless top and it would be a mesh kind of like finish with the, with the Echo Vision logo. So it would be in the fabric, but a mesh that is not breakable. Like I'm pulling this and I can't even tear it. So really badass technology to be able to create this for our clients. Like this is like insane how strong it is. Chi Su Wan, okay. So 700,000 RMB, so about 100,000 USD for one, one, one TR1 machine. Oh, yeah. yeah. He can speak English. You speak English? Yes, yes, Good. Yes, a little bit. This is all new technology. This is using the TR1 machine? Yes, yes. And so with the TR1 machine, I can use a spandex material, right? Yes. No problem, okay. And then what is your MOQ? For, for this one? Yes, for seamless, uh, any seamless. Oh, well, because it's different, uh, depending on the, uh, the design. For the third tier one, it's mm -hmm. 400 for to 500. One Four. size and uh, one 500. color. One size, one color. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
And then what's your production time? Sampling uh, time and production. Sample time is seven to 10 days. Okay. And the production time is 45? 45 days. Okay, days. pretty normal, yeah. okay. And then something like this, what would it cost? Like how much? This one cost? Yeah. Yeah, I'll check for you. Six. About six to seven USD um, per size, per color. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So North America as well. Yeah. Great. Um, and then in terms of uh, baby wear, what sizes can you do? Can, or how small can you do it? Can you do newborn? Newborn, newborn from newborn and uh, two, two to three years. Okay, two to three years, and they do How kids. How much for something like this? This is 100% cotton, right? Yeah, uh, 5.8. 5 5.8. Okay. 5.8? Yeah. That's pretty high. That's do very high. Cotton. cotton? Yeah, that's very high. Can you do something like this for $4? Polyester. Polyester. Mm, no, we have to think of um, we have to think of the material for children. So it has to be cotton. it has to be yeah for sensitive skin. Cotton have, or bamboo? You have bamboo cotton. Bamboo. Yes. Maybe we could do, but for ladies. Uh, can you do for bamboo for babies? Yeah, can you, you can. Do? Okay. Yeah. For something like this, using bamboo material, how much would it be? Bamboo is a little higher. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's the thing for six to seven. Six to seven. Six to seven. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. They want to do sleepwear like that, yeah. but not 100% polyester. They want a Modell or a Tencel or a Viscose, uh, something softer. You are very like our Australia customer. They also do brand, also like uh, Visco, Bamboo, and, uh, uh, Bamboo, Visco, like this. Yeah, we love that. Buy this right now? What's up, my ticket? Oh my god, this is fucking sick. I like that. I like this. This is beautiful. You know who would like this? Who? Oh. Uh, Zach, with his uh, buddies. Bro, I would like this. His broccoli piece. Oh yeah, this is crazy, bro. Bro, this tea is insane. I don't even know what kind of tech this is. So this is like a heat transfer, but the, the felt of this feels like a like a foamish suede. Look how crazy this tea is. Damn, this is fucking insane. So, Hi, to go. Look at this water-based print. Learn by Kwai? Learn by Kwai. Learn by Kwai, like USD? RMB. RMB? 200 RMB. I'll buy it right now. The rarity Damn, of the like style, that, the style of this print doesn't feel like anything I've ever felt in my life. Yeah. So we're gonna buy this like just to show off. our clients and everything. Like this is crazy. It's like a felt. Liu buy two colors. As well as the dog bone. Okay. Yes. Canvas. Canvas. Wait, are these polyester? This is a canvas. cotton can cotton canvas. Cotton canvas? Yes, yes. So we need those prints. I no. think no. no. Polyester this canvas? Is, this is a uh, heat transfer because here you can see the fabric is it's white. Okay. If, if it's uh, it's cotton, cannot be heat transfer gotcha. Okay. 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 Uh, we also did the similar product for pet safe. Oh, cool. Like okay. this boy. Okay, so this is one of the dog manufacturers that we're currently working with with like Reese and Murphy. Reese and Murphy is a dog company that we're currently doing product development for. Um, a couple kind of here and there, and we've chosen this as our supplier to kind of bring the Reese and Murphy existing products to them. Um, Reese and Murphy has like, I think 10 to 15 different products, but we brought their main three here to replicate it. If they can replicate exactly, then we can move facilities to them and give them all the operations for Reese and Murphy. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to see you. I'm Daniel, nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Ash. I work with Elle Police. Hi, how are you? Daniel, Daniel, nice to meet you. No, 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 no. Nice, nice to see you, Bella. Very small, yeah. Hi, hello. We came, um, nice to meet you. We came to visit you. I see all my designs Yeah. Oh, haha. Great day. Visited some of our manufacturers that we do business with. Um, Bella, as well as Catherine, and 
it's always cool, man. Like you're doing business with these people and you just kind of, they're so excited to see us. They gave us gifts and really just like honored like us being here because it's, it's a long way to travel. So it's really exciting to give them more business and honestly just build a better relationship, man. So we, I don't even think we got through 10% of it. It was so massive and the camera really doesn't do it justice, but I had an amazing time. Austin had a great time, Derek, Ashley, and then Jay. Jay came here with us. He's our translator. He owns a seamless factory out in Yiwu that we do business with. So again, man, like building relationships with all our factories, planning on coming twice a year. They really, they'll treat you right, man. They give you like next level um, hospitality. So we're gonna head back now and probably rest before dinner. Grab some dinner after that, yeah. Yummy. Not a big fish guy. <laughs> How are we holding up over there? We making it. Daniel? Oh, this is good. This is good as fuck. My type of shit, right? It's good. It's good. It's very, um, I mean, we came for street food, you know? So it's like very traditional. For me, it's good. Because I've had this type of food before, so I'm used to it, but it's these guys. What do you think? The flat rice noodle is what Derek fucks with. It was, be you know? it was better than I originally thought. Yeah, it was good. It wasn't as much seafood. They didn't order any of the crazy I think he shit. Know, he knows I like beef, so he, he ordered just, a lot of beef. It was good. He just like can't see how it's made and where it's it. come from. And I then he'll see. eat it. Because if, it, if he found out how it's made, he probably wouldn't. No, eat it. it can't arrive on the table still looking yes. the same as when it yeah, was yeah. <laughs> not cooked.